Welcome back to Gun Bunny Customs, and today we have ourselves another little quick one on our uh, on the series that we're doing of finding easy and affordable and available um, alternatives for vehicles, uh, play sets, and battlefield accessories for the GI Joe Classified line. Now, a few months ago, when or, or whenever it was, Doctor Mindbender was was announced. Um, I happened to come across these at a local comic book store and I was thinking about trying to find stuff or make stuff that would that would um, work well as like a bat charging or repair station and like I said it's a comic book store that I go to all the time and I happened to come across this now this is um, obviously for Gundam being made by Bandai and it's 1 144 scale and you can see here it's made for you know obviously Gundam. Um, it was only 13 bucks so it was extremely affordable so I said well let me take a chance and I bought it um, cause if not, you know, it was only 13 or 14 bucks. So I brought it home, took it apart. It's basically like a snap tight model. It doesn't require any glue or anything like that. It's molded in color. You can get it in two different colors. They have this gray version and they have a white version. Um, I ended up buying both. I prefer the gray. I tried to paint the white and the white does not paint. Uh, I mean, these do not take well to paint the way that I did because you're going to lose the, the ability for it to move and I'll show you here in just a second what I'm talking about. So we're gonna see, does it fit a GI Joe classified bat? Which is what I wanted to use this for, like a charging repair station for Dr. Mindbender. And look at that. This thing works fucking perfectly. It's a good fit, it's a good scale, it's good detail. Um, like I said, it's extremely easy to put together. It's basically a snap type model, no glue required. It's molded in color. So if you're not much of a painter or a customizer, you don't really need to even paint it. You know what I mean? And it still looks good. So far, I've just removed it from the from the sprue trees and then you know sanded where the, the connection points were. Um, but I am gonna weather it um, and then add some, some detailed painting, um, like you can see here in the front. And let me show you again where they painted like the, the lights, the hydraulic actuators, and just some other little detail. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a little bit of weathering and a little bit of detail painting. Now this comes with some cool features. One, it's expandable and it, it gets bigger. So you can have two configurations. You can have a narrow or a wide configuration depending on what you put in there. <clears throat> so right now, you know, I'm using it for a, like a bat charger or a repair station, right? Um, but if they'd come up with something that's, uh, you know, release something that's going to be a little bit wider, a little bit larger, like say maybe like snake armor, it might be able to accommodate that as well. And you don't, you know, you just have to sort of disconnect it and, and widen it. Uh, let me show you what it has on the sides here and show you some of the other um, uh, features. Now, the stuff that I really, I mean, this thing is really, really detailed and it's got some great features. One of them being that you can buy multiple uh multiples of this and it has a little clip that looks like little hoses or pipes that allows you to connect them to the next one so you can do a whole row of them just like this and uh, that's what i want to do i want to i'm going to do maybe about 10 of them five on each side uh you know what i mean with like some kind of control system in the middle um, but it shows here how it expands it's got the two different configurations here's the parts that it comes with um it's got weapon racks that go on the side here um that i've, I've they're in a the parts bin somewhere and uh, I, I didn't locate them for this video but it's, it's got adjustable weapons racks on both sides and adjustable different like um, pedestal bases or, you know, uh, for the for the bottom of, of this portion where you can do different ones. Uh, like I said, they all connect together. You can, you, can, you can string along as many as you want. And then here it shows how it kind of lifts up. So it can be, it can be placed in multiple positions um, depending, I guess, on what you're doing. Like to me, this would be kind of like a repair position where, you know, they can kind of lean over and work on them. But you can also um, have it standing straight up like like this and be more of like a charging ready to uh, ready to kind of go position. Let's see all the way in there. Hold on. There we go. And uh, also has a whole bunch of different positions along the way so you can have it at varying degrees of tilt. Um, and like I said, it looks great. I mean, it looks good, it looks scale, it looks detailed enough. Um, and if you're not a big bat guy, or if you're more of like a, uh, you know, like an 82 to 85 guy, the, the pre-bat era, this also works really well. And it would work for, you know, uh, like I said, it could work for, you know, multiple things. This could work really well as like a uh, 
torture or an interrogation kind of uh, table. You know what I mean? To hold your prisoners, uh, to interrogate and question your prisoners. It has these uh, things that kind of go up. So you could actually almost kind of, you know, have him in there like that to where, uh, you know, he's going to get it. You know what I mean? He's going to get the whatever it is that's in Dr. Mindbender's wand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it looks good. I mean, multiple applications, extremely affordable, readily available. Um, it's made by Bandai. Um, I believe they're also available on uh, Amazon. You might be able to find them on Amazon or any kind of anime store, um, you know, web or, you know, uh, comic book store or anything like that. Anybody who carries Bandai. Like I said, my comic book store ended up having, I think, five. It was like three gray, two white or something like that. I ended up buying all of them. But like I said, I think I'm just going to stick with the with the gray ones. I'm going to try to find more gray ones. And then, you know, have them all kind of lined up. Like I said, five on each side, all weathered and painted. So that way, when my mind bender gets here, he's already got his, you know, his lab for um, for his bats. You know what I mean? He's already got his charging and repair stations for his bats. So there we go. Just another one on this, uh, you know, in the series of affordable, quality, readily available products to kind of amp up your G.I. Joe Classified collection and your G.I. Joe Classified display. All right, well, that's it for today. Stay tuned for, you know, the, the next episode where either I am going to be weathering and painting this, and then I'll show, you know, multiple multiples of them clipped, you know, uh, clipped together, or me finding uh, another vehicle play set or um, battlefield accessory that we could use for G.I. Joe Classified. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.